Hi, I'm Debbie. This is my intentional living channel and trying out a new setup with an iPod instead of my phone. I'm hoping that this works a bit better. I think already the lighting looks better even though it's the same lighting that I've always used. I meant to get this done earlier today, um, but I just sort of got lost in the day. So we are doing this now and there is a cat winding around my feet and trying to claw up my leg. So, so we'll see how this goes. Um, so I just wanted to give an update on my meal kit subscriptions and where I am with that. Um, I don't want this channel to just be about meal kit subscriptions and I have been dealing with, um, some personal stuff so I haven't done a lot of video making and I have made a couple videos that I've just sort of scrapped um, but I just wanted to go over my overall impressions of different meal kit subscriptions that I've done and I've actually canceled two of them um, so my takeaways so I've canceled Hungry Root and the Martha and Marley spoon boxes um, I actually canceled the Hungry Root subscription because it had too many leftovers. One of the reasons why I wanted to start meal kit subscriptions especially was because I've had a lot of thrown away food. Um, I was doing things like making um, casseroles and stuff and then just throwing away too much stuff. Um, Hungry Root, you get less than you... So you get less than I would get if I went to the store on like a grocery run. Um, like you might get a bag of, say, um, pre-prepped Brussels sprouts or a bag of salad um, or a bag of like, let's say, eight to ten tortillas. Um, and then they give you some recommendations on how to mix things up together to make a meal um, and so that worked out great. The meals were quick and easy and they tasted great. I was surprised at how good the quality food was um, but the problem just ended up being that at the end of the week I'd have like a lot of bits of stuff left over like sauces or tortillas or veggies that I just didn't have anything that I really wanted to do with. So in the end, I was still throwing stuff away, which is what I want to move away from. Um, I don't know what the answer is going to be, whether it's going to be getting something like a butcher box and just like meticulously planning out my meals, or if it's going to be um, getting something like Sun Basket and um, planning out my meals from that, but, but we're working towards something that's workable and isn't, doesn't involve me throwing a lot of stuff away. Um, I also canceled the Martha and Marley Spoon subscription. So Marley Spoon had some of the best recipes that I've ever made in my life, but one of the issues, so I had two main issues with Martha and Marley Spoon. Um, the first was that the, the recipes can be uneven, so there were some recipes that I thought were the best that I've ever had, and there were some recipes where I just didn't think that they were that great or didn't like them. Um, and with some of the combinations, I had my gallbladder removed a few years ago and have had stomach issues since then. So some of the recipes just made me feel sick. Um, so all in all, I decided to cancel it, even though some of the recipes were amazing. Like I just had deconstructed pork dumplings last week. Like they're the sort of Chinese dumplings that you'd get from Chinese takeout, except you basically created um, like instead of having like dumplings folded over the filling. You had the filling and then sort of sheets of pasta that were the dumplings and it was just really good. Um, but I can't justify 
a meal delivery service where I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to like things because there were a lot of recipes that I thought would be really good and just disappointed. Um, so I decided to cancel that. Um, so far, Sun Basket has been the best meal kit delivery service that I have enjoyed getting um, for me, and that's just because um, the food seems to work well with my stomach, for one. Like, I haven't had any real issues with sickness from eating anything besides, um, there was a taco recipe that I think was just a little too acidic, um, but I can not get that recipe where I can take out, like they had pickled onions that might have upset my stomach, I can take that out. Um, Sunbasket also has the best user interface. It has the best add-ons. With Hungry Root, everything is basically like an add-on. You can order everything individually and you get credits to um, pay for those. With Martha and Marley Spoon, they have a very limited amount of add-ons, usually like a dessert, a coffee, or um, meat packages. But Sun Basket has, I think, the biggest range of add-ons. You can get um, like pre-made pastas and sauces to mix together, and they actually have little like recommended... Um, like add-on combinations, like sort of little packages where you can just buy like the sort of package deal um, for different things. So they've got like rices and salads and little cups of soup and stuff. Um, I think just about everything that I've gotten from Sun Basket has been delicious, um, except for one soup that I wasn't in love with, um, but that was just really, I think, a matter of taste. Like, I had a Thai ginger basil, no, just a Thai basil tomato soup that was really good. Um, I've had, um, like, instant type oatmeal in a cup that was good. I've had I got steaks as an add-on for the holidays. That was good. I've had some of their fresh and ready meals, which are meals that are now cheaper. I think they're $8.99 or $9.99 a serving, and you just put them in the oven and cook them for the set amount of time. Stir, and they might give you stuff for a salad or something, but you just it's really easy to throw together a quick meal. That was good. Um, I had, I think, I think it was chicken tetrazzini, um, and I had shrimp tacos, um, and those were good, Can't, oh, they were shrimp Diablo tacos. Um, I've seen reviews where people say that the fresh and ready meals are bland, and actually in my experience, um, I thought that the taste of the shrimp Diablo tacos was good, it wasn't super like, spicy hot, but you could add pickled jalapenos that they sent. Um, I th thought that the Diablo sauce was a pretty good taste. It was like a tomato-based, um, sauce. And, um, I've had another kind of, like, chicken taco, the chicken mojo tacos. That was really good. It hurt my stomach a little bit, but it was fine. And I had... One other thing. No, I can't remember what it was, but basically everything that I've had from Sun Basket has been good. Um, the add-ons, for the most part, have been good, and I am happy in continuing it. Um, Hungry Root, I think, was great if you need something that's fast and easy, like the food tastes really good. It's great if you do want leftovers. I do not, so that was the problem with that. Um, I was surprised how how good Hungry Root was, and they have like little desserts and stuff that you can order. Um, basically, almost everything I had was better than expected, and I think especially if you're the kind of person that just doesn't have the bandwidth to cook after work or school, 
or you don't have a lot of cooking skills or like you're maybe um, in college or in your first after college job and you can afford it, Hungry Root is a good choice. And then um, with Martha and Marley Spoon, I think that the combination of just the unevenness of the recipes and sometimes the quality of the food that I got wasn't super great. Between those two things, I just couldn't justify it anymore. Um, especially with Sun Basket, like Martha and Marley Spoon had some of the best recipes, but Sun Basket is um, consistently good. And I think that even though it's a bit pricey compared to some other food delivery boxes, um, like, I think that it's worth the value of what you get. Um, so next up is actually Blue Apron, because one of my friends got me a Blue Apron gift certificate for the holidays and Butcher Box. Um, I do have to say that Blue Apron didn't have the range of recipes that I would like, um, but I did find like two meals that I thought I would enjoy eating. So I think the 15th I'll be receiving the Blue Apron box. And then um, I actually just got my butcher box today. It was delayed. Um, like I feel like deliveries right now in general are just between the pandemic and the holidays. I think that delivery services are just having issues right now. So my box was actually delayed by two days. I got an email from ButcherBox saying, hey, your package is delayed. Um, if your box is at an unsafe temperature when you receive it, let us know and we'll send you a different box. Um, my box was still frozen. I think the fact that it's um, like 30 degrees outside in Wisconsin helped a little bit with that. Um, so I'm happy with the service for Butcher Box. Um, I'm cooking my first Butcher Box um, meal tomorrow. The issue with Butcher Box is that they don't send you what you need for a meal, they just send you the meat. Um, but I have some stuff just sort of floating around, and I'm gonna go to the store tomorrow, anyways. So I think I'm going to make probably potatoes and salad with steak. Um, I'm probably going to have bacon with eggs tomorrow morning. I already have the eggs. The bacon came in the box. Um, when I signed up, I got free bacon for life. I'm not a huge pork person, and I don't eat a whole lot of bacon. Um, I think quite a bit of the box just sort of got processed into my standing freezer, um, so that is what it is. Um, I do think that from where I stand, it's going to take me a long time to get through the butcher box. I don't think it's going to be a monthly purchase for me. Um, I do have the start of some meal planning in my bullet journal. So, um, right now... What I'm trying to do is just break down, like, the different boxes that I'm getting and, like, the different meals that I'm going to make out of them. So, we'll see what happens. Um, if I, like, the upside of butcher boxes that I can just take the meat that I don't eat and put it in the freezer downstairs and then pull it out when I, um, can get to it, which is preferable to like the bags that you get with the meal kit delivery, except for the fact that I'll have to shop outside of the house or order like grocery delivery for like produce and whatever I need for the different meals. Um, also, I'm going to try probably looking up recipes for two to try to recreate this meal delivery service experience just to see if creating my own sort of meal kits um, for like two servings works well. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I hope that people um, that are sort of on the fence on what they want to do in regards to meal delivery have gotten some value out of this. 
Um, I've been taking some time to think of what I'd like to do with this channel. Um, I've got a video that I'd like to do on um, running for office because I'm going to be running for alder person in my city. I'm turning in the papers on Monday. Um, I'd like to do probably some stuff on bullet journaling and I think um, I bought a drone just to sort of play around with drone photography, so I think that I'll have some, um, footage of maybe, like, local parks or, um, just city snowy streetscapes coming up, and then, um, one of my biggest interests is really sort of, like, living with intention and slowing down, so maybe coming up some videos on slower living and um, I'm gonna try doing the no buy challenge again because I'm saving up for a few different things and trying to pay off debt. Um, so hopefully there's a lot of stuff that will really help people coming down the road. Um, so I hope everybody has a beautiful day and you can like or subscribe if you got something out of this, and just have a good night.